Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Hoi 4 TNO, the last days of Europe, in which we were playing as a beautiful Far Eastern Soviet Republic under Papa Salvin. So, last time, uh, I think we united us under this title, the Far Eastern Soviet Republic, but let's go ahead and get through a couple comments. First of all, the first one was, when am I going to play as a Delvanga Brigade? Now, I don't remember exactly how to get them, but if you know how to get the Delvanga Brigade, please let me know in the comments below. The second one was... Asking if Goring actually won the German Civil War, and he did, which is actually the first time I've actually seen this happen. It's almost always Bowman in my campaigns, not even Speer, Heydrich, or Goring, but now we have Goring here, so we'll see what happens. Apparently he has the ability to go to war with Russia, looks like War Plan B, so we'll see what happens. Or maybe it's War Plan C, I don't know, but let's do our focus, because we have a $10 billion in GDP, a little bit of growth rate, and a little bit of debt, which we're going to talk about in a little bit as well. Uh, expanding the party. I want to improve poverty rate, so that's what we're going to do next. The Communist Party is one of the primary organs of governance in our union. If it is to be representative of all the peoples of our union, it can't be an adoption for the privileged and well-positioned. We should decrease the time required to become a member, reduce the number of committees involved in approving new members, and generally make party membership much less onerous to achieve. In our popular proletarian democracy, bringing more people into the party will only make it stronger. And we shall expand the party, my friends. We shall definitely expand it. Cool. So, if we take a look here, we have our economy. So, my plan is this. What we're going to do is try to grow it as fast as possible. And by growing it as fast as possible, I mean really just increase the construction budget as well as civilian, civilian spending while cutting down military spending. I want to build as many civilian factories as fast as possible, which I think should help us with our GDP overall. It should do that. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what's going to happen because civilian spending is always a percentage of your civilian spending as well as, well, to a degree, I suppose, your military spending, but also construction. So I just want to build, 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 build as fast as possible. Debt is but a number that could potentially kill us, but that's okay. That's okay. So right now we have dreams of, a f dreams of freedom, which we don't care about. Uh, we basically have to wait until probably, uh, was it, 90, 69? 69, nice. After the first hour, but... We got some time here, so we shall expand the party as we do our next focus. Uh, workers decrease, industrial expertise slowly gets better and better. Uh, we can't do economics or anything to the right here, which is fine, which is fine. Uh, let's see, let's go and grab some more political power first. Let's see, it reduces administrative drain, agriculture, industrial, satellite stuff, protect proletarian democracy. It's not bad. Authoritarian socialism. Uh, workers decrease. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is all not bad to do. Let's see. The academic base will begin to improve. Academic base or academic base. More political power. I want to go and get more political power in the short term. So, the Komsomol were born. Their original young pioneers in Komsomol were founded to help the values of the Communist Party reach the younger generations of Russia. Commissar Sablin himself was on September, as were many of the idealist officers who joined his revolt. By reviving the Komsomol, uh, we can bring a new generation of Siberian children into the party and create a new generation that is loyal to our ideals above all, but expanding the party. Bolgan Dorziev and his friends gathered around the beaten television in the village pub, watching the American cowboy movie with wide eyes. Certainly, the Komosol leadership would improve the hooliganism of watching Western movies, but this kind of media was seldom shown on the channels in such a remote part of Siberia, so they decided to treat themselves tonight. So engrossed were they in the gunslinger's heroics, they didn't even notice one of the cell administrators, Serafim Vasiliev, Approaching them. Comrade Dorziev Vasiliev shouted. Comrade Vasiliev, I, uh, Bolgan began to stammer as he caught red handed. He was caught red handed at the pub watching an American movie. No need, no need to worry, Comrade. I was just going to say that Sablin has loosened restrictions on party membership for Komsolmol members. You can watch your American media all you want as long as you understand the principles of socialism. Really, Bolgan smiled as he heard these words? <clears throat> Excuse me, yes, comrade. Also because of the Ulan Udez new affirmative action policy, Beriats and other natives are receiving the top priority for party membership. Because of your knowledge of dialectical materialism and the new program, I'm happy to say you are the first recipient of party membership in the village. Bogan's friends burst into cheers and congratulations upon hearing the news. Drink some meat tonight, he shouted. But just remember, Vasiliev added, Sabla may have also lifted some of the restrictions on drinking, but you still need to drink responsibly. There are more heroes than on the screen. Well, that sounds like a very uh, wholesome thing to say at the end, you know? Just make sure you don't drink yourself to death. Most likely. Probably. Let's have time go on and hopefully get more research done, get more construction done, make sure our army is fully equipped with a military equipment, because we will 
we're far from finishing warfare in this campaign. Very far from it. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and toasty in uh, the Siberian cold. Even though it's only September. It's probably pretty cold up there. Let's see. We have lowered the military budget. And we've also increased the civilian budget. So, we got construction. Three. Convertible. Oh, they actually... Oh, they're touching. Okay, so he actually has supplies. Now, these places aren't touching either. Okay, well, whatever. I don't really care. It's 65. We can probably do that. Maybe get some more resource efficiency gain, but we don't really need that. Three repair. I should have done this earlier. Let's go ahead and grab this for now. Three research slots. <clears throat> Obviously not the best, but that's okay. That's totally okay. I really like this book because it gives you events and stories. I love stories so much. The stories behind things... <clears throat> The decisions made, I think it's just it's just great. Even though we'll get 5% more political power, you know, I'll still take it for now, because we're going to lose more political power very soon anyways. So, it is what it is. Comprehensive strategic analysis, very cool. Let's go ahead and grab the next one with... Large-scale exercises, more organization, and better recovery rate for the entire army. Wow, that's pretty good for the entire army. Yeah, I like seeing this page a little bit too much, but that's okay, because now we can probably choose three days. A new focus, which we could keep going down here. You know what? We're gonna do come, we're gonna do this one first, even though it's probably better if I choose everything else first to help our days and and improve our country. Uh, it reduces strain, which I really like. So, Koreanzatia. I can't say that word. So, settling down our roots was a policy of early Soviet Union that brought to, or sought to bring minorities into the governments of the various Soviet republics. Here in the Far East, such issues of political representation have long been a thorn in the side of the many warlords. But we can do better by bringing more Buryats, Yakuts, and other peoples into the government. We can create a truly pluralistic pluralistic union while challenging old chauvinistic ideals and ensuring the loyalty of our union's desperate populations. We lose stability, get more non core manpower, but we do lose daily political power as well, which is <clears throat> unfortunate. Idealistic revolutionaries, huh? Very cool. Very, very cool. How is this construction going? So we have, we'll get another civilian factory on June, June, hopefully not June, January 2nd. We still gotta build stuff up. This cheetah not good still? Hmm. A little bit of lag. We're doing, like we said earlier with the comments, we got to keep an eye on Germany because, well, the fat man, he might be doing stuff. He might be doing reforms. Okay, reforms. Uh-oh, he's trying to find cash. Oh, the five-year plan? Huh. The Great Purge. Cage the students. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, why not? Why not? Destroy treasonous or treacherous architecture. Work the blood. That is unique. Work the banks. Uh, we probably work the banks. I don't want to work the blood, but you know what? Uh, work for freedom. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, that that exists. Uh, more construction. That is but a number, and we have to build. So we were at 13. Now we're at 15. So this should be done like two weeks earlier now, which is awesome. Two weeks earlier. I'm, I we were here to build. I'm going to build, 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 build. Oh, we're done training these guys for now. Good. All right, we got that done. <clears throat> and the new Lenin levy. So while the reforms to the party membership process have yielded results, ranked to the Communist Party are still woefully unrepresentative of our union as a whole. In decades past, the new Lenin levy, or the Lenin levy, a mass enrollment of citizens into the party, helped to bring hundreds of thousands more into the government or governance of the Soviet Union. We should do something similar and weigh the application requirements for a large representative portion of the population this way. <clears throat> the workers and peasants of the Far East can truly see themselves in the government and the political life of the nation. Political power, better ideology to defense, and reduces the strain, which I want to get rid of as fast as possible as well. Because right now, it hurts our political power. Ooh, military austerity. No, 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 no. As much as I want to produce more stuff, and it, it only hurts us by $100 million in terms of growing our deficit, <clears throat> it's still not bad. So I really want to get rid of this. Minus 20% political power. We get less recruitable population. We lose consumer goods, factories, stability, and supply consumption. I mean, that stuff is just not good to have. Oh, and I guess Indonesia was war was at war with itself. <clears throat> Novo Serbsk units Central Siberia. Oh, okay, cool. Um, we have fifteen divisions. How strong? How many divisions do they have? Stalaker wins in Oslo. Same old from Oslo. So they have a butt ton of manpower. Okay, no convoys, which makes sense. We have almost doubled their factories, which is nice for now. They have only five to seven divisions, which is not bad. They do have some motorized. We gotta keep an eye on that, but 
Overall, I think we're doing pretty well ourselves. Now, I'd like to train these guys, but we just don't have enough output. And I know reducing the military budget actually hurts your output, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. We're actually making APCs, too. That's not bad. We'll get there eventually. We will. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, though. So, Come on, guys. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing a great job. The new Lenin Levy. Great. Which means we should have more consumer goods. Yes, yeah, 17 now. And they'll be done on December 17th. <clears throat> so next up. Child Vagrancy, Worker's Decrees. We should probably do both of these first since we get, can do them twice as fast. Worker's Decrees. <clears throat> the well-being of the common laborer must be a top priority for a government. As such, a central government will put out a series of decrees effective immediately intended to safeguard the rights and protect against abuses. Workers will be paid fair wages for their labor. Work days will be altered to more reasonable lengths with breaks provided. And the sort of abuses that four men use to subject their underlings to be... to... must be prevented... To must be prevented from here on out. Perhaps the workers were nothing more than cattle to be driven under Yagoda, but we must do better. We get acceptable minimum wage, eight hour workday, and our industrial expertise will increase, which is something I really like. Let's see. We are currently on a 12 hour workday. Construction spending factors 100%. Eight hour workday gives you more stability and production efficiency gain. We lose output and we spend a little bit more, which I don't like, but it is what it is. Why can't we have the freedom to do an unlimited workday? Hmm, big sad. And then, low minimum wage. A little bit of lag. There we go. So, we are currently on low minimum wage. Battle for Italy. Uh-oh, Italy's turning democratic, maybe. General Subharto Ku's Indonesian government. Very cool. So, acceptable minimum wage gives us more stability. It gives us more... Better monthly poverty rate. Okay, acceptable minimum wage maybe is not a bad thing, then. Monthly industrial expertise. But it does increase our construction and spending factor. Less cap and less max factories in the state, which kind of sucks. Good minimum wage. Monthly poverty rate does help. Nice. You know what? It's only money. Keep injecting it into the, the economy because we need it. Yeah, by doing that, also, you get better political power. Like, let's see. Let's show it over there. For civilians, budget boost, you get plus 0.1. It's not much. But it's really nice to have. It happens every three months. Resource efficiency gain goes up. We get less consumer goods so you can spend more civilian factories. More stability, war support, construction spending. Or construction speed, I should say. Totally fine with me. And... Oh, this looks really nice, too. Decree on land. Land reform for many revolutionary governments is one of the highest priorities. It should be the same for us. While there's no need to engage in mass collectivization and displacement, the Far East is hardly the world's most productive agricultural region. As such, agriculture has sure here should be made more efficient. More financial assistance and material should be sent to peasants to expand the production, and farming plots should be organized into more orderly arrangements. This way, we can use what we have with less waste, produce more calories per acre. Armies march on their stomachs, but nations live on them, too. Good. So down here, we're improving We're improving everything across the board. This is what exactly what I wanted. I love, I, or maybe not love, but I like playing Soplin or the Boratia because we can do pretty well. I mean, honestly, with any nation here, if you kind of know what you're doing, you can do pretty well as well. And right now, honestly, I'm just kind of waiting for us to... Ooh, more budget, hold on. So now it's, we're over a billion dollars in terms of construction spending. Our annual deficit is now over a billion as well. Even though I'm trying to lower the military stuff, that's why I want to spend as many or make as many... Factories as possible. Nice. We actually have two runs going now. That's pretty good. Uh, this is gonna be done soon. How, how is it? Uh, I wanna I wanna build this up. 72. That's pretty far away. Over here. 66. The end of March we'll get another factory. That's not bad. Ooh, minus 50 percent. Oh my goodness. Power tools. Ooh. Poverty. Ooh. Stability. Ooh. Debt is but a number which we will fix as time goes on. 23, 24, better industrial, yes, finally, look at that, new training programs motivated by a need for better workers and managers have resulted in industrial workplaces that are more exact, efficient, and smart in the production of goods. New technologies and equipment are important, but they never trump the human element, which is driven by practice and education. These new training programs motivated by national vocation programs and investments in worker safety programs have driven out our workers, or driven our workers, further towards true perfect industrial efficiency. When they clock in, they will become machines of the highest order. That is the goal. We get more retention, cap, and growth. Yes, please, yes. Very much yes. And we get a decree on land as well. 81% war support, that's fine with me. Decree on land, Decla Declaration of Workers' Rights. In, in 1918, Comrade Stalin published the Declaration of Rights of the Working and Exploited People. This document formed the basis of the Soviet Union's principle of governing documents and declared to the world that the worker state has been founded in the former crucible of reaction. As Comrade Lenin did in the past, we shall do in the present. We will draft our own Declaration of Workers' Rights, declaring our dedication to all those who toil. Copies will be read aloud in town squares and posted on public boards for all to see. Let no one doubt our commitment to the workers of the world. We get better consumer goods, more output, 
and oh modify wheels of labor and reduce administrative strain on our budget or just on our country which is awesome now we got seven percent more political power from the last time we looked at this five percent more consumer goods we got a little bit more stability a little bit better in terms of supply consumption minus five percent really plus five percent which is nice and we have a little bit more population to work with not too much but that's okay hey look and now the budget since we're making more civilian factories i think it really does help we were at over a billion now we reduce it by 80 million a single civilian factory maybe not a single one but you know what that's still okay with me and i want more growth i don't know how to get more annual gdp growth i'm not really sure how to do that i think it might just be modifiers in the game that affect you so hopefully we won't get as far as probably the oil crisis uh, hold on siberian workers who are you colston reason in revolt why can't i help them you know what with this siberian workers federation revolt are they they're not probably leninists they're libertarian socialists wait hold on we're libertarian socialists i know we probably don't believe the same thing there should be some sort of event here if this ever happens where we can like supply them with volunteers and weapons and maybe peacefully unify siberia now that sounds like an interesting idea i hear or i've heard that at the time of this recording they're going to rework Soblin eventually um and bratia so i think that would be an, an amazing thing if you could like help the workers federation and then integrate them later on if they win i think that'd be really really awesome but then again i'm not i'm not a dab or anything like that i just think that would be kind of cool uh uh we could do, defeat child vagrancy at academic base academic base oh they can rapidly improve it or begin to improve uh let's see over here here, you reduce the strain. Let's go and do, defeat child vagrancy. The bloody wars of years past and the grinding poverty of life in remote lands have not been kind to the children of Siberia. Many are homeless, many are more destitute, and almost all are illiterate. We have an opportunity to bring these children out of the squalor. Building new institutions of education and development will allow the youth of the Far East to create better lives than what they could have had under the rule of petty warlords and autocrats. Yes. Happy 1966, though, my friends. I have not told you that yet. And we are full blaze ahead. Full blaze? Full speed ahead in terms of construction budget so which is awesome 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 i love it keep building look three more civilian factories beautiful my friends we're defeating child vagrancy we really want to get rid of these power tools oh we're about to get rid of them too we're about to go from power tools to get more output with rudimentary manufacturing lines more factory output much better 20 percent more dockyard output which really doesn't matter to us to us too much 10% faster construction speed and better resource efficiency gains? Sign me up. Sign me up. Large scale exercises? I think so, my friends. Uh, let's see. Are these mutually exclusive? They are not. That is awesome. I love it when things are not mutually exclusive. Military factory construction speed? We'll probably need those eventually. Let's grab that first. Supply chain reinforcement? I think it's okay to just do that for now. Uh, just whenever we need it. Oh, look at this. Invest in construction? Moderately increases GDP. I like increasing my GDP. But how about we get more weekly manpower first? It's only 35 political power. How much should we get a day? 0.64. Slightly increases GDP. We get more stability, which I like. Oh, military austerity. Slash, slash, slash. More drill secures Breton leadership. Okay. I think I might wait, though. Uh, industrial equipment begins to approve. I want to do something for 50. Let's try that. Industrial expertise. Moderately increases GDP. Scientific research moderately increases. Education slowly improves, moderately increases. Uh, academic base, that's not bad. Heavy machinery, I might do that. Increases GDP, it's not bad. So, let's go ahead and do one of these first. We can centralize about rely on autonomous organizations. Over the past few decades, the remoteness of Siberia and the destabilizing ravages of war have led to many communities establishing their own educational institutions. They are everything from village crèches to nascent agricultural co colleges on, on offer, with each with their own local loyalties and institutional memories. Not all of them follow our party line to the T. Some are even rumored to support reactionary religious traditions. Uh-oh. If we were to earn the allegiance of the lands which we have recently come under our government, however, it would be prudent to allow these local schools to remain without much state interference. And in any way, it would certainly make less effort and fewer resources to do so, which is great. But we have some literacy programs to attend to. When the f f fishermen came back, his c castle had turned back into a hut. The end. Dudora Oblonsky closed the book, looking up Mr. Chernyashevsky, the teacher of the Yakuchans. Yeah, Chukan's village adult literacy class. You're doing great, Fyodor. You're reading much faster this week, he said. I'll see you tomorrow. Class is dismissed. Fyodor put the book into his backpack and headed out of the room to the church basement. 
out of the church basement, seeing his friend Yuri by the stairs. God, I don't know what Salvin's doing, Fade up, making his come here every evening, Yuri muttered. I have a farm, I have a wife, and three kids. Want to go to the barn? Fyodor shook his head and headed out the church door. Let him disparage it, he thought, as he walked back home. He could spend his entire day away from his family and farm at the adult literacy class, but it would be all worth it if he could spend ten minutes using what he learned at home. Little Vanya jumped on his father's arms as he saw him coming through the door. Vanya, would you like to read a story? Fyodor asked. Yes, Papa. Fyodor smiled as he set himself and Vanya down at the kitchen table, taking the book out and reading and beginning to read. Once upon a time, there lived a fisherman with his wife, but unfortunately, I will be right back. My apologies about that, but let us continue anyway. So, like I said earlier, I wanted to do something here. Uh, let's see. Returning X... Uh, I like more stability, but it doesn't really help us with our GDB too much. Increases... Where is... Uh, this one probably would not be bad. Which one do we need to improve the f most? Because we have industrial equipment just coming up really fast. Industrial expertise, though could really be quite good. We have an experienced industrial base. Innovative industry would be pretty good, actually. Industrial experience, poverty, or research. Yeah. Actually, if we help out research, we have rudimentary. We get more political power. We get more research speed, which is okay. Repurpose Soviet equipment. Industrial equipment begins to slightly increase. I'm sorry, I take, I take a while with this stuff. Uh, moderately increases stuff. Industrial expertise. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Research facilities moderately adds more to the debt, but I don't really care about debt right now. Slowly improves. Everything slowly improves as well. Man, I don't want slow improvements. Oh, actually, poverty. You know what? I'm going to do this one, just because I hate the poverty. I don't. I don't want any more poverty. We we gotta we gotta improve that by quite a bit. Basic literacy. Yeah, poverty rate. It's going up by 2.25. Not great, but. Once we get out of this area, we get 5% more stability and more support, better recruitable population factor, more output, period, 5% more construction speed, less monthly population, which is fine, <clears throat> faster research speed, <clears throat> excuse me, and more people we can tax, which I love, 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 not bad, not bad, pretty good, pretty good. So after we're done building there, we'll build here, and there, uh, maybe not there, right here. Rely on autonomous organizations. Now we shall do <clears throat> this one, Prolet Cult. All workers deserve bread, but they deserve roses, too. In the early days of the October Revolution, the new institution of Prolet Cult took hold. With state support, new art styles and culture groups sprung up like mushrooms after the rain, giving workers access to creative outlets previously undreamt of. We should revive this program both as a way to expand our ideology and to boost morale across the nation. State funding and resources will be given to artists in the cities, to poets in the countryside, to factory-based theater groups, and to many others besides. The glorification of the worker is our highest calling, and who better to make such glorious accomplishments than the workers themselves? We get political power and reduce the strain <clears throat> on our government, which is great. So we have practical industrial administration. Um, re slightly reduces coring time. I like that. I mm, at 75. You know what? If we had the option, we might as well take it, right? Right? Maybe. Cap growth horizontal. I don't like debuffs. I don't like less cap. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Why would we get less cap? Do horizontal. We get currently 0.64 day. I mean, this would be actually okay. So I'm probably gonna do this one. Just because later on, when we take out the rest of Siberia, coring this would be really good to do very quickly. That's why I want to do it. Because if you can core stuff within a few days, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Annual deficit's looking even better and better. Less than 900 million. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. And early industrial robots. Very nice. Come over here. Thank you. Uh, it's 1966. We could grab that for more military factory construction speed. But, no, we can't do that either. We could get some radar, but that's not going to really help us too much. Let's improve our artillery. Base bleed, yes. I always focus on artillery just because it's tried. It's true. You can't go wrong with not upgrading our artillery, which is, I think is awesome. So, And, of course, this one will definitely help out our uh, agriculture as well. 43 factories, never enough. God, I wish I could help these guys out. I really wish I could. And this does slightly increase GDP, which is okay. I mean, I wish we could get more. 0.43. I wonder if it's taking effect yet. It probably already has. 
God, I want to send volunteers, but I can't. No! We just want to unite the human race. And you are led by. Uh, Alexander Polkarishkin. Okay, well, whatever. Nice, nah, got more factories to use, more political power. Let's go and do. Vlas Vlas Sulvatam. The October Revolution provided the world with many maxims, perhaps the most famous is Visa Vlas Sulvatam. All power to the Soviets. The Soviets of workers, uh, peasants, soldiers, and sailors once rest control the nation from reactionaries and revisionists, and we must not abandon the legacy. The workers' councils across the land will be brought into the governing process on the local and national level. Only through the efforts of these councils will a true proletarian democracy be possible. All trade unions will be allowed. Uh, oh, that definitely helps out with their poverty rate. Industrial expertise monthly rate as well. Very nice. Very, very nice, actually. Look at that. More political power? Don't mind if we do. And now, we're going to... No, stability, that's not bad. You know what? It's probably worth doing it now. Even if it's, if it's only 3%. It's it's worth doing. Infrastructure isn't bad either. Yeah, that's not bad either. Eventually, we're going to get hopefully get enough political power. We can do whatever we want. And I'm glad we already did this stuff, so that's pretty good. Let's see. Inside scientific research. Moderately increases GDP... Slightly increases GDP. Industrial equipment goes up. We get infrastructure, which helps us produce more factories. We could do that as well. More construction speed and moderately increases. Uh, we could do that, but let's save it for now. Can 0.43 go up any higher? No? Okay. Actually, no. Our GDP growth rate is 5.7. Was that always 5.7? I thought it was just 5%. Sverdlovsk unifies Western Siberia. Oh, this is also. Is that Western Siberia? Huh. Oh, they got that special flag. Rokosovsky. One step closer. Oh, what is Germany up to right now? Zero. Pl oh. Pride and goal ring. Hmm. The German economy. Dock it up. But, well, that makes sense for Germany. Actually, how much? That's 10% more construction speed. That's not bad. Yeah, actually. 15% hmm, more construction speed would be nice. I don't want to use it right now, though. I'll do it later. We only have one full line of factories, so... It's best to spend it later, I think. No template for APCs, that's fine. I'm going to make some tanks, too, anyway, so... I just want to do all this. I just want to do it all. I just want to do it all. I just, just, I'm just a simple guy. Simple, solvent type of guy. Let's get an Admiral. Lev Konstant Konstantinov. Cool. Go ahead and do that and train. Cool. And protect proletarian democracy. Democracy by the people and not by far removed bourgeois representatives is the core of our government. It is the core that we must defend, formalize, and uphold. By granting more explicit powers to the workers' councils and outlining the structures by which they will exercise these powers, we can make it clear to all of Russia that ours is a society in which self government and the popular will reign supreme. We get less political power, but more recovery rate, more defense, and reduces our strength. Wait, hold on. Is that the brigade? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where was that? Ah, there it is. So I should play this country someday. Oscar. Bandit State. New raid preparations. Nothing there. Soldiers uncontrollable. <laughs> no. A monthly ins inspection of the soldiers by Dilvanga himself shall gauge your interest. Um, I'll play this as a nation someday, but I don't think they have a focus tree just yet, and they're fighting too many people. To the slaughter. Less. Minus 70% defense, but 60% more attack. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, they do have a focus tree. Kill the German scum. The bar backs to the wall. Ready the boys. Organize. I have to play this nation someday. Holy crap. Grab the healthy, fit, and strong. Um. Transfer the flesh. Oh my god. He has a long tree down here. Alexander wept, but we will ride. All of Russia will be ours to play. Oh my goodness. And who, who's playing Olsk? Interesting. Better destiny equipment? Um. The economy is doing great, and now. <clears throat> New reforms in industrial subsidizing has resulted in the shipping of updated industrial equipment across the country. Products are being shipped producer and are being produced quicker and cheaper. The further progress of mechanization into the once ossified industrial world will prove a boon to the worker and manager alike. No more long, horrible hours. No more subpar products screwed in by imperfect human hands. Industry continues from March forward. These were a long time coming, however. Increases in budget and renewed focus on water industries are making have increased support for a much needed renovation of the country's industrial equipment. Resource efficiency gain, construction speed, factory output, dockyard output, yes, 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 a thousand times yes. Alright, let's see. Agriculture will begin to slowly improve. Happy June 1st, 1966, my friends. It's a new, new month. Uh, weekly stability goes up. That's not bad. I kind of like that. I want more weekly stability and we get more war support for a tiny bit of political power. I mean, that's awesome.
More stability, yes please. 0.78 a day. Not bad. Look at that. The deficit is slowly going down. We have a one and a half billion in terms of debt. Our GDP is only 1.6, but that's okay. <clears throat> but let's finish up with the first reform Congress. Party Congress. The All Union Communist Party, or VKP B, governs supreme over a vast stretch of our territory. Our triumph is near, but our path remains murky, however strong our ideals may be. The two primary factions exist within the party. They're the Bukharnists, led by people such as Mahiv and Braun, and there are the nascent Sablinists, backed by the people such as Pichiro and Yu. They agree on much, but each faction has an approach to governing that, will, that the others cannot tolerate. While the Sablinists support the ideals that come that uh, our new revolution was founded upon, the Bukharnists may know it will take some take to keep the Union alive. Therefore, to resolve the differences, we must call a party congress. It will be composed of delegates from the Soviets across the nation, along with, at large, representatives of the party. There, the nation and its leader will decide upon the direction that it will take the, on the road to liberation. Now, this is the one, the focus, that you cannot take if you didn't, or you, sh you still can take it, but it was recommended you finish off the Leninist economy and army first, so this way you can get all those benefits before we do too much. The focus will lock us into our current ideology and disable any further reforms. So we get replaced stage... Uh, Leninist economy stage 2 and the army stage 2 with stage 3 Leninist army and economy which is nice which is very very nice which we love so much invest in construction well not yet uh, you'll be done oh oh not the Delvanga brigade no why'd you destroy them June 29th which is at the end of this month which is nice and December 29th or 28th well that's okay things happen invest in construction military austerity nope even if we have military austerity, we still have less than a billion, but keep slashing it down. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but, you know, it is what it is. 0.72, not bad, not bad. We have enough anti-tank equipment now, which is nice. And I really love that they actually put the titles here so we can actually read what it is. Because when I look over here, I'm like, RPG, that's probably anti-tank, anti-air, but it's probably just anti-tank. Guns, we need more guns, we need more artillery, more support equipment. But not too bad, not too bad, especially since we're only making one division at a time. <clears throat> and our current divisions need more experience. You're good on defense, wow. If we did that, we would lose so many guns. Let's not do that yet. Oh, good. We get currently... 0.82, not bad. Invest in construction. Empower workers. Ooh! Populated the government. More daily political power and industrial expertise. Yeah, I'm sorry. I could have done... I could do more here, but... By 1.24 day? That's so good. For two months? Basically, you got point... What was it? 0.35? 0.25. 0.35 times 60 days... That is math I cannot do in my head. Because I don't want to think about it. That's an extra 21 political power. Sure, we could spend it something somewhere else. But that gives us more stability, doesn't it? Or something? So. Oh, that helps us with... Uh, so basically, you get 21 political power. You lose kind of 14 political power overall. But your popularity of the government increases. Which could increase your stability. I don't remember. But it helps our industrial expertise. But let's do this first. Uh, let's see. Economic direction debate. Well, we'll talk about that maybe later. Let's defend the revolution. We get inf bonus for industry or political power. Reaching out to the world. We can hope to bring socialism to Russia without aid from outside our borders. And we'll have to accept that from anywhere we can. So we must step out into the world and accept all the help that we can as long as it'll benefit our revolutionary cause. One day the Russian proletariat will again become the vanguard of the global revolution. But first, an international workers' alliance and an international workers' brotherhood is needed. We shall stand opposed to national enmity and discord, to national exclusiveness. We are internationalists. But the economic direction debate. But Pichero, I remember the October Revolution. This isn't upholding its ideals, it's mere naivety. Braun, it worked in 1917, it can work here. This isn't 1917, Braun slammed his fist against the table. We need centralized organization if we want to see prosperity. As Southern opened the door to the conference room, he found the Central Committee in a state of his shambles. Each committee member was shouting at each other at the top of their lungs, looking haggard and worn out from the argument. Comrades, no need to turn this into a shouting match, Southern exclaimed as he looked around. We are politicians, not children in a primary school. Now, can you please tell me what's going on here? Excuse us, Comrade Southern. My uh, Ulanoskaya apologize. However, a dispute arose over the extent of the role of workers Soviets should play in legislation. It's a shame so many of this committee are overly idealistic, Mikhail Mahiv grumbled, but I think we can agree on giving you the final say on these scenes, comrade. The rest of the room nodded in agreement. Excellent, we must make we must all t make tough decisions in these difficult times, but nevertheless, I think the obvious answer here is that we must do something. Leninist Army Stage 3. Yes! And Economy Stage 3, look at the benefits that we got from that. That is amazing. So, we're talking about economics here. We can either go centralized organizational force, which helps or empowers the Bukharanist wing, which actually probably doesn't affect us too much anymore. It does affect us. Oh, we actually have social democracy under Nikita Chibesov. Cool. 
Struggle with bureaucratism, partial mobilization, I like that. Or we go with authoritarian to socialism. Uh, factories, we get more debt. Increase our GDP and growth, but that's okay. Poverty rate will improve. A single office, a single factory. Not bad, I like that quite a bit. And then the rest of this is, we can do either one. So with bureaucratism, democratic glavki, GDP and growth by 400 million and 3%. Versus 402 percent. I want. I want more growth, though. A civilized corporate. That's not bad. Civilian and military factories. Association of free and equal producers. Building stocks and improve poverty as well. Not bad. Obviously, here you get more factories, but you get more growth here. I like that. Uh, we don't have to look at this bottom stuff yet. We'll look at that a little bit. Stick to the ideals that built this nation. Think pragmatically. Oh crap! Which one is it? Um. Ideal central organization. Struggles? Um, I'm not really sure. Let's see. We need centralized organization. So Braun wants centralized organization. If he wants to get prosperity. Oh, crap. Um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, either one we choose, it really won't matter in the end. So, stick to the ideals. Think pragmatically. Uh... Thinking pragmatically sounds like it's the one with Braun. Stick to the ideals. Why not? Let's try that one. It's probably the wrong decision, but we'll see what happens. Okay, oh, 50s artillery, nice, 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 nice. Let's get even better artillery now. Rocket artillery assisted projectiles, very good. Even more soft attack, yes, please. Supply and chain reinforcement, yes, please. Let's go with wartime industry. So, when we need to build military factories, which we will need to, we can improve ourselves. Anything here? No, that's not bad. Uh, and we're still doing reaching out to the world. Ah, oh, yes, reaching out to the world, that's good. Very nice. The new union, stability, gets Far Eastern Republic. Halls, build a civilian factory, trade with America, maybe. The Red Embassy, arise ye victims of oppression, huh? Or back on the world stage, more war support, which I kind of like as well. Reach out and establish diplomatic contact with their ideological brethren. Uh, comrades in the Caribbean, ooh, Cuba. Economic aid, we get more re more uh, resources, which is nice. We could maybe use those. The Terrans fear our might. More war support. Gross Germanisches Reich gets an event, and then unite the world in song. I like that. I like the song. The song is fun. Oh, look at that. Good. Dreams of freedom. We don't need to do anything there. It's not 69 yet, which is fine. Let's go ahead and do... Doesn't really matter. Moderately increases. Are these all moderately... Oh, this just increases GDP. Um, What is the difference between moderately and just increases it? 350. It sounds like it gives us a bigger boost, which I kind of like. Uh, let's go with the increases GDP. 0.77, not bad. Oh, did I click it? Maybe not. Yeah. 0.77, becomes something off, hopefully. Nice. How's this looking? Oh, it, oh, no, 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 no. If we didn't spend more on our budget, we'd have like 500 some million that we're spending in a deficit. That's okay. Like reaching out to the world, great. And, oh, did I do this one yet? Oh. So, economics of the proletariat. Oh, that's... Oh, this one, yeah, cool. Socialism is an economic-minded science. I was born out of the idea that the solution must be found to so have fewing so much while having so many have so little. The transition to the state where the government or everyone has what they have earned is our current goal. Keeping an eye on the economy and our progress is as important as anything else. Right now, if we don't have enough military industry, our people lack housing, and we are nowhere near true socialism, it's time to get back to work fixing this and other economic issues. That play granite people. State of the wider world. Uh, now we shall go with... Oh, this doesn't help GDP, so I don't want to do it yet. A moderate increases GDP. Academic base. Let's do with research facilities, education, scientific... Mm-hmm. Moderately increases, moderately decreases. We get a bonus industry, so let's do that. Improve work your training. And let us look at this. 0.77 is still. And 2 billion in terms of deficit. Mm, or debt, really. So state of the wider world. Germany appears to have recovering from a four-way civil war that resulted from the death of Adolf Hitler. From radio broadcasts received from Germany, there appears to be some student left-wing movements supporting the reformists under Speer. But by and large, there do not appear to be any large number of leftists in the country. Aldo Brown said, pointing to Europe as Southern shook his head. Monitoring broadcasts and gathering intel on the global situation was not an easy task, but the Ministry of Foreign Affairs had worked day and night on uncovering global events, and Brown will simply explain the most recent updates. And what of America? Southern asked, looking at the United States. America, Brown muttered, Following their defeat by Japan, it appears that the public is losing faith in the bourgeois capitalist order, with their opponents reforming the National Progressive Party against the unified Liberal Republican Democratic Party. Stop and smile. I assume there are many socialists in this party, then. Perhaps we can send our greetings to them? Brown was not so enthused. Unfortunately, it appears, while it appears, that there are a good number of socialists in the NPPP. 
there are equally large numbers of reactionaries and fascists who oppose liber liberalism for not going far enough. Both parties are divided over the treatment of black proletarians by the white bourgeoisie, and the situation is growing more unstable by the day. The two men stared at the map and each other, and the two felt their hearts sink as they realized how alone the Leninist state was in the world. It is difficult treading the path of socialism in these times. Quite, quite a bit. Comey's looking pretty good, though. Uh, Euro League, Euro Military District, Central Siberian Federation, please go to war with me. We have the Republic of Kazakhstan. Usually in my games, they go socialist or something like that, but okay, you know, the conservative democracy. No national focus set, and they have no tree. It is what it is. And currently we get 1.43 a day. My goodness, that is so good. So good, my friends, so good. So, look, less than 700 billion as we're growing and basically getting more and more debt. Our deficit is going lower and lower and lower. Just keep building, guys. Keep building. You're doing a great, great thing for everyone here. 30%. 60% would be pretty good. Over here, it is 50%. So it looks like we're going to be forced to go over there. And then 40%, 30%. Left by up 50%. Uh, you up there, then. Hopefully, we can get more room to build stuff up. So that would be nice. Once we get two roads going or two lines of 20 factories out of 20 factories, then we'll probably invest in more construction spending. 0.83, not bad, not bad. We'll go struggle with bureaucratism. The economy cannot be held up by layers of pencil pushers and management layers in a far-off town. Progress must never be at the mercy of a number of people of doubt, dubious talent, with a mind towards political advancement. Who wants another system where a layer of management makes the decisions that govern the lives of the people anyway? We will reduce the bureaucratic influence on our industry. Workplaces will be governed by a democratic system, where the workers make the decision on what to produce and how much. This will free your civilian industry from neglect and mismanagement, and we will see tremendous growth in that sector. We become... Uh, civilian construction speed minus 25 percent. Oh, civilian factory speed actually goes down. Cool. Well, that's not cool, but you know it is what it is. Right now, where are we on? Oh, we're on war economy. Oh, okay, we're on war economy. We'll go down here, which actually improves our ability to make civilian factories even faster. We lose some output. We actually get a little bit more political power, huh? And we lose consumer goods factories. That's not bad, actually. Cool, so economic growth direction. I can't close this. There we go. Comrade Secretary Salvin exclaimed as the end of the conference room of the Central Committee, do you have the economic growth reports I requested? The Secretary of the Committee nodded as he handed Salvin a large pile of papers. Salvin began to frown as he stared at the tables, grass, and reports contained therein. Unfortunately, economic growth in the last fiscal year was slower than expected. Maya Ulanovskaya, the Minister of Economics, said, we attribute this to a downturn in foreign trade. What does this mean, Salvin replied? Is there still funding available for the Workers' Council's expansion plan? Salvin became particularly interested in a proposed campaign to give increased control of economic planning to the local Workers' Councils as opposed to the bureaucracy, and often talked about the possibility of implementing it in previous months. Comrade Salvin, we can begin... That project of yours, but for the foreseeable future, it will require that we focus on them exclusively at the expense of other vital planning bodies. Olan Olanovskaya's assistant, a bearded man in his 40s, asserted, Bodies like the National Munitions Bureau that our national defense depends on. What will it be? A silence fell across the conference room as the Central Committee stared at Selvin, who looked at the report in his hands, and went for his answer as he pondered that classic question of economics. After what he felt like an eternity, Selvin looked at the committee once more and ready to give forth orders. Guns protect the workers, butter to fill their stomachs. Let's go with butter, because if we get enough workers, then we'll have enough guns eventually produce, to produce, you know. Give them butter for now. Feed them a little bit here and there. Ah, yes, we can do this as well. Let's see, hiring foreign instructors. I'm going to do this immediately because we want to improve our army experience or, let's see, widespread cronyism is just trash. We want better attack, better stuff here, um, get better political power. This is just better overall. Same division training time, so there's no point in not getting it, so... As much as I want to improve GDP, we're going to lose some army or daily political power. We'll get better army XP gain, but mm, it's a necessary evil for us. If that's the case, go ahead and train if you need it. No, you don't need training. You guys need training. Hey, look, our output's looking pretty good, though. Nagasaki Accord signed, bringing peace to Vietnam. Fresh air at last. Almost 11 billion in terms of GDP. That's not bad. Not bad at all. A little over 2 billion in terms of debt. Plenty of motorized. Plenty of artillery. Well, not plenty, but a good amount of artillery. Our RPGs are not looking bad, but I need more military factors so we can make some tanks eventually as well. Do we have tanks on the line? Motorized, we got plenty for now. I don't know, we should make some tanks. But not ahead of bombers and planes. I should really be making some, uh... Oh wait, hold on, are we still making... Ships? No, we only have one here. And you're repairing, which is good. Getting more naval XP, which is good. Over here budget. Okay, now it's over a billion, which really kind of sucks. Oh, goodness, that is not good. That is really not good. We'll have to con cut construction eventually, but for now, we're doing okay with it. We're doing quite okay. Struggle with bureaucratism. 
Uh, partial mobilization, not bad. A civilized corporation. Oh, I want more growth. Actually, I think getting growth right now would be helpful. Just GDP growth, period, is always good to get, so. Glevnia or Previlnia are Glavki, are administrative departments of the major economic ministries. While the ministries themselves cover mass swaths of the economy, such as tourism and military production, the Glavki deals with a single industrial sector and manages it. For a while now, the Glavki have been run by political appointments on, from high. Comrade Sabla believes that this should not be the case. The Glavki must be open to a great de degree of democratization and worker input. These new Glavki will be more important in civilian life as well, making the people see a direct correlation between their decisions and impact on their lives. We get uh, more GDP and growth. I just want growth, 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 growth. A lot of growth. Because right now, I keep clicking the wrong buttons. But, with 5.7, if we get 3% more growth, that would be really, really good. Help slowly maybe match the debt, which won't get any close, but that's okay. Over 11.2, not bad, not bad. Annual budget is 2.9. Deficit to income ratio is 36%. That's still manageable, so... And we'll get another civilian factory done in 66 of October 19th. In two weeks, actually. That's not bad. Horizontal industrial organization, good. Which, actually, we improved our ability to produce consumer goods, or consumer factories, I should say, so that's not bad. Horizontal industry, we get more max factories in the state, which we could actually use right now. Less efficiency growth, but more better base output for both dockyards and factory stuff, which is not bad at all. As well, That's why I continue cracking down on military austerity, or military spending, because we don't really need it right now, just yet. Very, very good. Ah, 50s rocket assisted projectiles. Very good. Nope. Ah, that didn't even do it. That didn't even do anything for us. Wow. Cutting that did nothing. Uh, main battle tanks would probably be good to do. Uh, where, where is this stuff? Tanks. We can actually. Uh, I don't want to produce garbage. We're not even making that yet. Let's go and get. Ooh, actually, do we? Can we make? Oh, that's 1970. That's quite a ways away. We need to also improve this stuff as well. Uh, just keep doing their artillery for now. That's fine. 1960s artillery armament upgrade is always very good to get. One over one a day without a bonus. That's nice. Uh, civilized cooperation. All we need under a NEP is an organized population of Russia and cooperative societies on a sufficiently large scale. For we have now found the degree of combination of private interests, of private commercial interests, and uh, with state supervision and control of this interest, that degree of its subordination to the common interest, which was formerly the stumbling block for many, many socialists. Indeed, the power of the state over all large-scale means of production, political power in the hands of the proletariat, the alliance of this proletariat with many millions of small and very small peasants, the assured proletarian leadership of the peasantry, etc., is not that this is not all that is necessary to build a complete social society out of cooperatives. Out of cooperatives alone, under NEP, is still not the building of a social society, but it is all that is necessary and sufficient for it by Vladimir Lenin. Uh, we get new factories at a small cost of a few things. So we get four more civilian factories, which I love. Build those civilian factories quickly. And we get two more civilian, two more military factories, which we can actually use. We need them for guns, which I'm going to put just one more on. Just one more. Actually, I'm going to lower you by two. And we need more support equipment as well. So lower that by two by three. So this way we can spread, share the wealth a little bit better. Share the wealth, my friends. And we'll, we'll make better, more AK-47s eventually. That's the plan. For now, do agricultural stuff maybe? No. Increase the GDP. Better education stuff. Let's do that one first. That'd be good. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're only at a billion in terms of deficit, which is, you know, it's okay. Not great. Very, very good. Wow, look at that army XP. From army exercises. Nice. Hey, look. Our GDP growth. 8.7%. Yes. I want to get that as fast as possible because that's just going to help us throughout the entire the rest of the campaign. If I can actually match it up to 12%, that'd be awesome. But I just don't think we can. 10, you'll be done. Oh, okay. So it looks like a big boy has begun or imposed or come as one. Western Russian Republic versus the military Ural district versus the Siberian Siberian. Central Siberian Federation and the Far Eastern Soviet. Civilized cooperation, very good. Association of free and equal workers, yes. Better poverty rate. Free association is where the state no longer exists. No class or social hierarchies remain. And private ownership is abolished. No one is barred from the means of production. Everyone has the ability to fulfill their needs and material desires. This is a world that every socialist can dream of, and it is the world we are striving to create. Unfortunately, circumstances prevent us from establishing free association at this time. But there's nothing preventing us from getting close to that point. We'll begin taking action that will make our transition to that state easier. After all, everyone agrees that there is difficult... <clears throat> or difficulty, understands that why we can't achieve that goal right now. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, less than a billion. Nice. We're improving ourselves slowly, slowly getting better. Improving ourselves for everyone. Oh, I love it, my friends. I love it. 
We're building, building, building. Come on, keep making more factories. We need it. And I'd love to do this. And we do get a moderate increase in GDP, but we still need to improve ourselves. Uh, getting education funding. Great. 0.68. Not bad. We are really improving the industrial base. Boost civilian budget boost. Actually, without that, we would be at 700. Eh, it's only 240 more. That's not bad. Basic literacy is going up by 8 a month. We are about to get better literacy rate. Uh, rudimentary research, it's it's slowly going up. Uh, not bad for basic mechanization. Poverty rate, 4. Not bad, not great. But even though we just fixed it. Over here is 5, not bad. Wartime industry, yes, that is going to be good for the future. Let's go ahead and grab strategic cycles for more breakthrough and organization. Yes, yes, yes. I know this video has gone on for quite a while. But I, I really enjoy playing this mod still. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love the story-driven stuff, like I said earlier. So, it's kind of okay with me. Marley, improve it. Uh, keep helping out the GDP for now. That'd be great. 54 factories. That's so good. Association of free and equal producers. Uh, so now we can do either the question of fa famine, industrial expertise, and agricultural things, and then do maintain food austerity, or provide relief to communities. That helps out other poverty rate as well. Or we do... Actually, we can do both. Building slots, poverty rate begins to slowly improve. Actually, this improves two things at once. Lessons from this. Increase GDP growth by 1%. Reduce interest rate by 4%. Now that is interesting. Reduce interest rate by 4%. Oh, that is not bad. Oh, should I do that? Let me know. We get 1% more growth versus 4% interest rate. Oh, growth still might be good. Let's go with Narco Fin. The Narcomfin building in Moscow was a renowned experiment in communal housing, a large apartment complex for families, and offered shared kitchens and laundry. The design was meant to be to intervene in inhabitants' everyday lives and so communal and socialist values. It was also a renowned constructivist and avant-garde design. Though the design was never widely adopted, that doesn't mean we can't do the same thing. We have the plans. We will build twin structures of the building over all of the east. So, I think that will conclude today's episode, my friends. I think we've done very, very well improving ourselves, and we're sort of just waiting until we get to 1969, just so that we can go to war, unless someone's going to go to war with us over here. But I'm really interested to see what Germany will do, since it looks like they've already eaten up Bohemia and Moravia. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, as we shall improve our state, or, and eventually push further West. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.